Hello guys, these are my 2010 World Cup predictions. In Group A we have South Africa, Mexico, France and Uruguay. For this group, South Africa and Mexico will qualify for the next round. The host nation has always qualified for the next round and FIFA can't afford not to have them qualify for the next round because then they'll, they'll lose lots of money. Um, I think Mexico has a really good chance of qualifying for the next round as well because it has a good, um, a good team, it has good balance, um, it has a good defense, a good, at, uh, good attack, it has both young and veteran players that are very talented. And usually Mexico plays well against uh, um, harder um, opponents. They beat in um, in the World and World Cups. They beat in they beat in Belgium, um, Czechoslovakia, and Croatia. They've also tied against um, Argent uh, not Argentina. I'm sorry, um, Italy, France, and Belgium. And the last World Cup, they played against Argentina, which they lost. But they played a very good game, and they were just unlucky not to win that game. They were very close. I think if Mexico comes out motivated and determined, they'll be able and play as a team. They'll be able to 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 um make it out of the group stage and make it make it um further I don't think Uruguay is going to qualify for the next round because they barely qualified in 5th place and couldn't even make it out couldn't even beat Costa Rica in their own stadium Uruguay is extremely inconsistent and very unpredictable sometimes they play good and sometimes they play full bad um they fit they they failed to qualify for the last World Cup in 2006, and in 2002, they didn't even win a single game. So I just don't think Uruguay is going to be a, a, a difficult opponent for um, for Mexico or South Africa or even France. I think um, it's, I think Uruguay is not even going to make it out of the group stage. Also, I mean, I, I did some research and I found out that Uruguay in recent years have haven't haven't beat Mexico. I also think France won't make it out of the out of the first the first group because they had lots of trouble qualifying for the World Cup and in 2006 yes they did reach the final and they played pretty good but in 2002 four years after winning the World Cup they didn't even make it out of the group stage and well I think without Zidane this French team is not is not the same and it won't it won't get as far in Group B we have Argentina. Nigeria, South Africa, I mean sorry, um, South Korea and Greece. For this for this group, Argentina, South Korea will qualify for the next round. I think Argentina, even though Maradona doesn't have good uh, coaching experience, um, and Argentina plays, you know, attacks with, with disorder. They have strong players that are talented and can change the outcome of a game in any given moment. I think this in this World Cup, Messi Messi is really gonna shine. I think South Korea has a really good chance of qualifying for the next round because they have lots of speed and the power, and they're very determined. They have a good balance of young and veteran players, and I think that they're gonna fight until the last minute. And I'm gonna, I'm I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to surprise the world again, like they did in 2002. I mean, if if um, if Korea is able to tie with France in the last World Cup, who's to say they they might not get past the group stage? So I think they have a really good chance. I think Nigeria won't qualify for the next round because they struggle to play as a team, and they often rely heavily on individual brilliance to get by. I also think they didn't qualify for the last World Cup in 2002. I mean, the, in the last World Cup 2006, and in 2002 they only managed to get one point. I think Greece won't qualify for the next round because they lack creative players and rely too much on set pieces. That alone will, won't help them win the World Cup. In Group C, we have England, USA, Algeria, and Slovenia. And from this group, um, I think England and the US will qualify for the next round. England has great players, executes great on set pieces, and their midfield is solid. So I think they they have a good chance of going to the next round and possibly making the semifinals. The US will the US will go on to the next round because they have a strong team. 
um, they beat Spain in the, Co in the Confederations Cup last summer. Um, and they have very talented players and play well as a team. Algeria and Slovenia will put up a fight, but I don't think they'll qualify for the next round. In Group D, we have Germany, Australia, Serbia, Ghana. In this group, I think Germany and Ghana will qualify will uh, qualify for the next round. Australia doesn't have a do, doesn't have um strong forward that can play at an international level, and the whole team just lacks lot lacks um I think uh, speed. Serbia Serbia won't go to the next round because they they have a very weak central midfield. Without a good midfielder, I think teams are just going to cruise on by and, and score. In Group E, we have Netherlands, Denmark, Japan, and Cameroon. I think from this group, Nether Netherlands and Japan will qualify for the next round. Netherlands, in my opinion, are far superior than Italy and Spain. They, put, they play at a very high level and possibly... And they could possibly possibly beat um, Argentina or England with no difficulty. This this team is very complete. It has great uh, defense, midfield, and not to mention their attack. I see the I see the Netherlands as possibly one of the most dangerous teams in the World Cup. Japan has a very competitive midfield with good uh, skills and accuracy up front. Okazaki has scored 15 out of 16 times with the with the international teams um, this year, so I think he's a very good player, and I think Japan has a good chance of going to the next round. I think Denmark is just not talented enough to beat Netherlands or Japan. Uh, I think they lack experience, uh, experienced forwards, and someone who can change the outcome of the game. Cameroon, in my opinion, is a good team with good players but I think they're just like at this point I think they're just too old um their defense is, is slow and kind of rusty yes their their attack is pretty good but their defense is it just seems real very fragile in my opinion in group F we have Italy Paraguay New Zealand and Slovakia Italy and Paraguay will qualify for the next round Italy has a rock salt rock solid defense they will make it hard for anyone to score on them, and I think they're very, and that's, I think that's um, their main weapon is their defense and um, set pieces. Paraguay will qualify for the next round because they have a deadly counterattack. They are also very good at the aerial ball, um, and they also have very talented players that play in Europe. New Zealand, Slovakia are very just are just very weak teams compared to Italy and Paraguay and I don't I don't see them getting out of the of, out of the first getting out of the first um group in group G we have Brazil, North Korea, Conte Ivory and Portugal from this group Brazil and Conte Ivory will advance Conte Ivory have the most impressive attack in my opinion in this whole tournament. I'm sure they'll do some damage. They're fast, strong, and determined players. Portugal will advance because they have Deco and Cristiano Ronaldo. They won't make it to the quarterfinals, but will will make it to the next round. I think that they've learned from the past mis from the past mistakes that they've done that they've ma that they've made in the last World Cups. And I think they'll help that that'll help them reach um, the next um, step in this uh, in the World Cup. Brazil is a great team, but in, in, but I don't think that they'll get past the first round because because of two uh, two things: Ronaldinho and is not going to play for Brazil in this World Cup, and their left defensive um, side is fragile, in my opinion. I mean, if you if your team defends with all eleven players and and takes the ball away from Brazil, I'm pretty sure they 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 to to me like Brazil seems like a very weak team, um, and anyone could really beat Brazil if you just take the ball away from them and and defend really good. 
I think North Korea is very inexperienced, and in this group of and in in this very in in this group, it's going to be very difficult for them to qualify for the next round. I think in Group H we have Spain, Switzerland, Switzerland, Honduras, and Chile, and I think from this group, Spain and Chile will qualify for the next round. Honduras and Switzerland just can't handle Spain and Chile. They might tie against Honduras and that's it. Switzerland is just not good enough to play against competitive te teams at this level. And my prediction is that Nether Netherlands or Spain possibly will win this World Cup.